welcome welcome this evening i welcome you i welcome you all i love you you are good friends i love you so much thank you thank you thank you jesus god you are good god you are might let's pray father in the name of jesus we love you we exalt you we give you all praise we give you all honor we thank you for your goodness for your power we thank you for this day that you have been good to us you have got my father we thank you because you are worthy you are excellent we thank you because you are all knowing you are all loving we thank you because there's nothing can hide from you, Jehovah God. You know us deep in us. You know what we are thinking. You know our mind. You know our heart. We know all our thoughts for you have good plans for us to prosper us, to give us a good future. We say glory and honor be given unto you, Lord, because you are so good. You are so excellent. You are so mighty. We love you. We love you so much. Thank you for giving us our brethren. Thank you for giving us family. Thank you for giving us according to the desires of our heart. Thank you for being there for us. God, you are so wonderful. God, you are so good. Thank you. So today, we are learning about why God does not answer our prayers. Why God does not answer our prayers. Everybody prays, everybody seeks God, both those who believe, both those that don't believe. Everybody in this world has a, a God he believes in. Yeah, there's those who believe in unseen God, those who carve idols and put them before them, they pray to idols, those who pray to, to cows, those, those who pray human beings. Uh, those, those who pray mountains, those, those who pray houses, those, those who pray waters, rivers, those, those who pray fish, those, those who pray their fellow human beings, those who pr pray and worship demons and other things. But I'm talking about a true prayer to a true God, the living God, the unseen, unchangeable the present God, God who is everywhere. Yeah, that's the God I'm talking about. God who does miracles, God who heals, God who manifests himself in the life of people. That's the God I'm talking about. So, we pray. Every time we pray. Yeah. And God hears our prayers. Imagine all these billions of people if they pray once all together, God will hear each and every individual prayer. This is a mighty God. This is a wonderful God. So, there's things that makes God not to hear our prayers. Remember one thing. Success is through our hands. And the word of God says, God will bless the work of our hands. So, when you are working, God will bless you because you are working. Yeah. When you give, God will bless you because he says, blessed are those that he gives. Their cup will be full and overflow. So God will bless you because you have a heart of giving. There's things natural God will do for us because his, in his word, it's written. The Bible says you bless the work of hands. If you're working hard, God will bless you. If you give to other people, you bless other people, God will bless you. You have more and more and more because you are a giver. That will happen. But apart from that, like life, life, God has given us life. He gives us free air. He gives us water to drink. He gives us food. Everybody, God cares for everybody. Whether you believe or not, God cares for you. Because he created you, he put you on this earth. But what we are praying, there are some things. Yeah, we need to communicate. Like in the house, when you have children, they don't they have to eat. Yeah, so when food is there, they will eat. They will eat. They don't even pray. They will just eat. Because there's food and everything. There's things that which are there, they are right. But there's some things they have to ask you. Yeah. There are some things children have to ask their fathers and their mothers to get to them. Yeah. But there are some things they don't need to ask. It's there. Like food. It is there. But there's some kind of food they may need, they have to ask. Like if you I tell you one special yes, she has to ask. Father, can you buy me this one? Uh, maybe buy me this one, buy me this one. But no more, there's a budget for the house. 
there's provision for the house, that one they will get and eat. That's how that is how it is with our God also. There's just provision, no more provision. When you work hard, you will get it. When you start, you will get it. Yeah. But sometimes you may not get them. Some things may not get. Some things we have to talk with God. Some things we have to commune with God. So there's so many people pray. They pray, they seek God, they go before God. Pastors, ministers, they pray, they seek God, but they pray amiss. Yeah. They pray amiss. There's one person whom God asked in the Bible what he needs. And they just told God, I need wisdom. Because if you have wisdom, you have everything. If you have knowledge, you have everything. If you have understanding, you have everything. Praise Jesus. Yeah. So, there's some prayers when you pray. Even if you pray and fast even 40 days, 100 days, God will never answer. God will never hear you. You will fast and die in fasting. You pray and die praying. God will never, 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 never hear you. Yeah. And God will never, never, never answer that prayer. When we fight and make war among ourselves, due to our lust in us, God will never answer those prayers. Yeah. You are going to mount to pray for someone to die. Do you need God to answer your prayer so that somebody may die when you are praying? And God says we should forgive. God will never answer that prayer. You will pray a prayer and first my brother, that person will never die. He will be there looking at you and you will be ashamed. Yeah. Some people will pray for other people to become poor. You pray for other people to become sick. When, you, when, they, have, when they have not done things that you please, you pray for them to become sick. That's war. That's fighting. Yeah, you pray for a pastor to die so that you may become a pastor. You pray for a boss to die so that you may become the boss of the company. Yeah, such, such prayers God will never answer. Yeah? When you wish bad things about other people, you pray against other people. Yeah, you pray for them to die. Do you need God to answer that prayer? I've seen so many pastors praying, cursing people to die. Yeah? The children of, 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 of the kingdom. Yeah? Some pastors, some ministers have taught them that way. Yeah? To go and pray against other people. When you, you do evil thing or somebody does not do something that pleases you, you go to pray for that person to die. Do you need God to answer that one? So the Bible says, when we make war and fight among ourselves, Due to the last, last is the evil desire. You desire something which is not good, like anything. You want something out of NF, envy. Yeah. That war in us, God will never answer those prayers. No matter how you pray, no matter how many times you fast, you will never be answered, my prayer, my brother, my sister. You will be praying amiss. Yeah, you will pray, a pray, cry, cry to God, and those people you are praying against, they will continue and prosper. Even when they don't know God, they will prosper because they are doing the right thing. God blesses us through our action, through our works. He blesses us. It doesn't matter whether you believe or not, whether you are saved or not. God will bless you because you are doing the acts, good acts, but you never see the kingdom because you have not accepted Christ Jesus as your personal Savior. That's what you miss. But on earthly things, God will bless you because you are working hard. Yeah, you are blessing other people. You are doing good. God will bless you. God will bless your deeds. God will bless you. Yeah. But you miss, even if you are not prayerful, even when you don't pray, but you are doing the, act, the good acts that the Bible has talked about. God will bless you. You have, you will prosper. Yeah, but you are missing one thing. You are missing the kingdom of heaven. You never inherit the kingdom because you have, not, you have refused the only son of God, Jesus Christ. So when you know God, you know the truth, yeah, and you are not praying, you are not praying or you are praying in a mess, God will never answer that prayer. These people who pray, they have committed, uh, they, are, they, are, they don't work hard, they never succeed. Yeah, if you are a prayerful, you don't work hard because God bless you, bless the work of your hands. You are sitting there, faith is faith of action. You move out and act on your faith. When you pray, you need God to bless you the job. You move out and look for that job. Yeah. You go to the offices, you knock, you take there your CVs you, as you pray, and God will take those heart of those people, you get a job, you get employed, or you start a business, that's something that can give you an income. Yeah, that's a true worshiper, that's a person who prays, 
who knows the right thing to do. Yeah. You just don't pray and sit like that. You don't act on your faith. So it's good to pray and not pray a mess. Yeah. <laughs> then the Bible says, when we lust to kill and desire to have which is resulted by fighting and war, and you have not asked God, God will never, 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 never answer that prayer. You just pray fast for 40 days, for 90 days, and then you die fasting and praying. God will never answer that prayer. As other people cannot succeed, as they cannot prosper. Yeah. Because you are lustful. You have evil desire. Yeah. You lust to kill. You don't want to see other people to prosper. You need yourself to prosper. Yeah. And you don't work hard. Yeah. Yeah. Your desire is decided out of fighting, out of war with people. God will never answer that prayer. Sometimes we ask a miss, you pray a miss, you don't pray. The Bible has taught us how to pray. The Bible has taught us to decide things that are heavenly, things that are good. Yeah, you decide things, you pray for other people. That's what the Bible says. You, when you see other people prosper, you pray for them, you wish them well. Eh? Such prayer, God will bless that prayer. Yeah, and those people, God will use them to bless you. You use them to change your life. Yeah. So, uh, when we become friend of the world and proud, eh? when you are so proud in your life, eh? some people even in their own prayer, they are very proud. Even in churches when they pray, yeah, they want to show people that they are more spiritual than others. They want to show people they know how to pray. Yeah, that's proudness. God will never answer the prayer of a proud man. A person who wants to show himself is superior than others. God will never answer your prayers, my brother. And when you are a friend of the world, the world is not the people of the world. It's your character, the things you do. Yeah. Stealing. Some people, even when they are given work, their sins, they like just stealing. They will steal, but they go to church. Even the offering. Some people, they still even offer and they still even tithes. They, they steal. Yeah. And they pray. Those prayers, God will never answer, my brother. Yeah, you never answer them. You just be there. Yeah. Some people, they go to witchcraft. Yeah. Uh, and then they come to church to pray. They pray and fast. They still go to witchcraft. How will God answer? Because you are soliciting the things which are not worthy. And God will never answer that prayer. Even when you pray 100 times, even when you fast uh, 1,000 days, God will never answer those prayers. So, uh, <clears throat> the Bible says, the eye of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers but the face of the lord is against them that do evil so when you do things that are not good and you pray god will never answer your prayers yeah you go committing adultery committing fornication stealing uh, anything people wanting people to go down proud yeah killing uh, 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 doing so such all kind of evil, God will never answer your prayers. But God will bless the work of your hand. Whatever you do, God will bless you. Remember, the Bible says there's power in our tongue. So you may speak something, you may decide something. It will happen in your life because God has given us power upon our tongue. But remember, some things you are praying, God will never answer because you are praying amiss because you have evil thoughts of against other people, against uh, 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 people around you. Yeah. So God will never answer the prayers. But when you walk in the righteousness of God, you do what's right, you know, to do what's right before God, your prayers, God will answer. God will answer your prayers. Praise God. So answering your prayers does not mean that when your prayers are answered, you're answered to some people. Most people, they, they pray for wealth. Most people, they pray to become very rich, to have good houses, to have good cars, to have, like such things. So when, when somebody has a car, has a house, he shows himself or herself, see, or he is successful. That's how many people want. If you tell people, what do you want God to bless you right now? You say, I want 